located on 77 acres of land on 15 Side Road in Milton, is the Darling Home for Kids, a safe haven and oasis for kids with medical complexities. And you can help make a difference just by participating in their 11th annual Wheels event. Serena Goel is a social worker at the Darling Home for Kids, and for those that don't know, she says Darling Home provides three programs. We have a residential program, so there are a few kids who live at the home full time. Um, our, our main program is our respite program, so uh, we serve the community and families with kids with medical complexities. Can um, their, their kids can come and stay for uh, um, short, brief breaks, and that provides an opportunity for the families to take some respite, spend some time with each other and potentially their siblings and, you know, engage in activities that they aren't always able to do with their kids and, and also just recharge. And then it also provides the kids an opportunity to experience new activities that they may not have the chance to do and, and socialize and, and take advantage of uh, a beautiful space we have at Darling Home. And then our third program is our hospice end of life programs. Now that you know what the Darling Home for Kids is all about and want to help make a difference, Goel says they have opened registration for the Wheels event, which is virtual again this year. So in past years, this is an event that would happen in person. Um, uh, and we bike, there's there's three different routes that the cyclists can take at 25K, 50K, 100K. I myself have actually participated in it um, and rode in person. And so the past few years, we've, we've been flexible and pivoted. And now it is a virtual and remote event. So riders are welcome to sign up and fundraise independently, choose their own goal. Oh, and I should say that you can ride, you can walk, you can run. We're really promoting um you know, taking care of yourself and your physical health and your, and your mental health by um, continuing to engage in exercise. And then on the day of the event, which is June 20th, there will be a short virtual live event that happens where we'll have a, um, a, a speaker and, and a small get together to celebrate. For more information and to sign up, you can go to ridewithwheels.ca. Now, summer is the season for a lot of fundraising events like this one, but Goel says what makes this event special is that you would be helping children feel at home. We have such a unique space that serves um, so many different needs. So like I said, you know, we have kids who live there. Um, we are able to offer that end of life care so really provide a full continuum of service to families with kids with medical complexities um, and then really our, our respite program where we're providing that um that integral break um and breather from uh, what is often you know 24 hour caregiving is absolutely essential to the families that we serve reporting for halton news i'm melissa candelaria